Hi, I'm Alexey Gavrilov with the Gavrilov Grasso team at Cochrane Group. And today we will be speaking about interior design trends for 2023. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Bru Kwak, a design director and senior associate at Workshop APD, an award-winning architecture and design firm with offices in New York City, Greenwich, Nantucket, and Minneapolis. Great to see you, Brooke. Good to see you too. Can you please speak to some of the top architecture and interior trends for 2023? With material trends, we are making a push for porcelain. We're always looking for smart, strong, beautiful solutions that are also eco-friendly, and porcelain surfaces have become really big. There are a lot of options on the market, and they're not only gorgeous, but really durable and green. In today's market, we're seeing more and more natural stones used in the apartments. What do you see? Natural textured stones and softer tones are becoming increasingly popular. We are talking about materials like limestone and travertine, as opposed to very dramatic, colorful, heavy veined marble options that has become popular in the recent years. What kind of changes have you seen taking place in today's kitchen design? In kitchens, they are becoming more integrated into the home and not in terms of open plan layouts. Some of the most exciting kitchens out there don't necessarily feel like kitchens, even though they are highly functional. This means millwork feels more like furniture, concealed appliances, and lounge-like seating options. In some cases, kitchens are divided into zones for dining, lounging and entertaining, as well as designated areas for food prep and cleaning. A lot of our buyers are looking for exactly this type of kitchen in today's market. But speaking of soft curves, what do you think it brings to the space? Another trend is there is a shift in modern design from crisp edges to softer curves, which has a welcoming and organic feel. In residential design, you'll see this in sculptural stairs, millwork, furnishings, ceilings, and even walls. Lately, we've been seeing a lot of linear lighting used throughout the developments, especially in the common hallways. What is your experience with that? Tremendous advances in ambient lighting technology means that actual lighting elements are much more powerful and focused and much, much smaller. This gives homeowners more control over their systems, a much cleaner look, and more space and opportunities to play with dramatic decorative lighting elements overhead. I agree with you 100%, especially with the design you've done at our latest development, 300 West 30th Street. The linear lighting really made a big difference when working with buyers. 